There's something strange, something unsettling about people with type O blood. It's the most common blood type on earth, yet it carries secrets that science still struggles to explain. From ancient genetics to bizarre health patterns and even eerie behavioral links, type O blood might be more than just a classification. In fact, the deeper you look, the more chilling it becomes. Because behind those red blood cells lies a story of survival, mystery, and danger. And if you or someone you know has type O blood, you might want to pay close attention. Let's start with something many people don't know. Type O blood isn't just common, it's ancient. Researchers believe type O is the original human blood type, the one our earliest ancestors carried through the Ice Age, surviving the harshest environments on Earth. That might sound like a strength, and in many ways it is. People with type O blood are often more resistant to certain diseases. They're less likely to suffer from blood clotting disorders. And they're universal donors, meaning their blood can be given to almost anyone in an emergency. Sounds like a superpower, right? But here's where things start to turn. Because that same ancient blood comes with some dark twists. For one, type O individuals are more vulnerable to some of the world's deadliest illnesses. Studies have shown they're at a significantly higher risk for deadly stomach ulcers. Why? Because their stomachs produce more acid, making them an easier target for a bacteria called H. pylori. This bacteria doesn't just cause ulcers, it's also linked to stomach cancer. So that ancient strength, it comes at a very modern price. And it doesn't stop there. People with type O blood are also more likely to suffer severe trauma from injuries. Their blood doesn't clot as easily, which means even small wounds can become serious, fast. But the scariest part might be the behavioral connections. Over the years, researchers have noticed something strange. Type O blood is often linked to certain personality traits. Some call it pseudoscience. But in places like Japan and South Korea, blood type personality theory is taken seriously, used in hiring decisions, dating, even politics. Type O is seen as strong-willed, confident, even aggressive, the natural leader, but also the rebel. But others see something darker. Some studies have suggested a higher likelihood of risk-taking, impulsive behavior, even violent tendencies in type O individuals. Could it be coincidence? Sure, but the patterns are there and they've sparked decades of debate. Are people with type O blood simply wired differently? And here's where things get even weirder. Type O people are more likely to be bitten by mosquitoes. That's right, research shows mosquitoes land on type O individuals nearly twice as often as other blood types. Scientists believe it's due to the chemicals secreted through their skin. But think about that for a second. If a blood type makes you more attractive to blood-sucking insects, what else could it attract? In ancient folklore, blood type was often associated with curses, spirits, even vampires. And in some old cultures, type O individuals were seen as marked, more connected to life and death than others. And now modern science is digging deeper into the connections between blood type and disease, memory, brain health, even fertility. And what they're finding isn't comforting. Type O people are more likely to struggle with fertility issues, more likely to experience certain cognitive declines with age. And some scientists believe that type O's immune system though strong in some ways, is also more likely to turn against itself. Autoimmune diseases like lupus, rheumatoid arthritis, and multiple sclerosis show higher occurrence in type O individuals. So what's really going on? Why does the world's most common blood type carry so many risks, so many mysteries? We've already seen the strange medical risks and behavioral patterns linked to type O blood, but the rabbit hole goes even deeper. Because when you trace this blood type back far enough, you start finding things that science can't fully explain. Let's talk about genetics. Type O blood is defined by the complete absence of both A and B antigens on red blood cells. In other words, it's missing something. That absence has puzzled geneticists for decades. Why would the original blood type lack what later blood types developed? And more importantly, how did it survive? In nature, survival tends to favor complexity, but in this case, simplicity won. The O gene is a mutation, a deletion actually. 
Some researchers believe this mutation occurred tens of thousands of years ago, possibly in hunter-gatherer tribes in East Africa. What's disturbing is that even today, scientists still don't fully agree on why this mutation became so dominant. Did it help early humans survive deadly diseases? Was it a fluke that happened to catch on? Or is there something about typo blood that made early humans more adaptable, more aggressive, maybe even more violent? Some anthropologists believe that typo blood carriers were among the most warlike tribes in ancient times, conquering, expanding, dominating. And perhaps that's why O became so common, not because of natural selection, but because of conflict. And then there's the link to ancient civilizations. Studies of mummified remains and skeletal DNA have shown that a strange number of high-status individuals, pharaohs, tribal leaders, warriors, were type O. In fact, some ancient cultures even believed that people with this blood type were chosen by the gods. In Japan, blood type has been treated almost like astrology. Type O, that's the warrior blood. Brave, strong, but also unpredictable and dangerous if crossed. Coincidence or ancient knowledge that we've forgotten? But the mysteries don't end with the past because type O blood may also be linked to how our brains work today. Several studies have explored the connection between blood type and brain function. And the results? For type O, they're a mix of good news and bad. On one hand, O blood types tend to have better focus and sharper logic. They're often excellent under pressure and great in leadership roles. But on the other hand, they're also more likely to suffer from mental fatigue, anxiety, and certain types of memory loss over time. And recent studies have even suggested that type O individuals may be more prone to Alzheimer's disease due to differences in how blood clots form in the brain and how oxygen is delivered. It's as if the same blood that once helped our ancestors survive now comes with a neurological cost. And here's a chilling detail that almost no one talks about. In cases of mass trauma, major accidents, and emergency surgeries, people with type O blood are more likely to die. Why? Because their blood lacks the extra antigens that help stabilize sudden blood loss. In trauma cases, every second counts, and unfortunately, type O's natural makeup works against it. Even in organ transplants, type O individuals are at a disadvantage. They can only receive organs from other type O's, which limits their options dramatically. A cruel twist for people known as universal donors. And then there's the emotional layer. Type O individuals are often described as intense, passionate, but also emotionally guarded. Some psychologists believe there may be a subconscious connection between blood type and emotional regulation. Type O's may struggle more with trust, they often crave control, and in high-stress environments, they can become volatile. Not because they want to, but because their internal chemistry is constantly fighting for balance. They are, in many ways, built for survival, but not for peace. So what does all this mean? Type O blood may be the most common, but it's far from ordinary. It's tied to a history of conflict, mystery, and silent risk. From ancient mutations to modern diseases, from strength to sacrifice, people with type O blood live with a legacy written deep in their DNA. And the horrifying truth? That legacy might just be shaping their future in ways we still don't understand. So the next time someone tells you they're type O, remember, they carry something powerful, something rare, something ancient, and maybe something dangerous. Thanks for watching. If this blew your mind, drop a comment below with your blood type and let us know if you've experienced anything strange. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit that bell for more truths they don't want you to know.